was terrifying. Another instance of gun violence leaving people shaken up, this time happening at a crowded midtown restaurant on Saturday night. This, as the city of Tallahassee comes up with ideas to drive down violent crime like that shooting. Good evening, I'm Ava Van Valen. ABC 27's Kendall Brand is taking a deeper look at the city's proposal and spoke with local business owners to get their reaction to the shooting. And Kendall, what is the city proposing? Well, Ava, the city is actually proposing a budget increase for their 2024 budget for the Tallahassee Police Department to help combat violent crime like what happened here at the Island Seafood. We were outside and um, we heard the gunshots start to ring out. Um, we, of course, immediately pulled everybody back inside and, you know, went into lockdown, secured uh, the doors and got them away from the windows. Phoenix Moon is one of the managers at the Rose Room, an LGBTQ bar that opened on Monroe Street earlier this year. He says his patrons were shocked and scared when they witnessed that gunfire. They were very upset. They were uh, very scared um, because at the time we didn't know if we were being shot at or if it was just shots ringing out near us but it was literally right across the right across the street right across the parking lot so it was it was very scary this is just one example of violent crime that has prompted the city of Tallahassee to propose a 9.5 million dollar increase in funding for the Tallahassee Police Department the city planning to put this idea forward in a city commission budget workshop Wednesday however owner of cool beans cafe Keith Baxter says this increase in violent crime started years ago he has operated his business in Tallahassee for 27 years and says he has only seen crime go up. In the context of my business, we found a loaded gun in the ladies' room um, about two years ago, sitting on the hand sink. Um, I just think it's the way of, of the world, way of this country right now. The city of Tallahassee is hoping that adding 20 more officers and new technology could be the answer to stopping this crime. But the city is proposing the funds for this come out of property tax dollars. Let's look at the numbers in the agenda. The city is proposing a 3.3% increase in property tax, which they say would equate to an increase of $12 a month or $139 a year. But for now, Moon says he hopes this violence comes to an end. No, I really haven't seen anything else like this. This is the first for us and hopefully the last. This proposed budget increase for TPD still has a ways to go with the spokesperson from the city telling me that the final decision won't be made until the fall. Live in Tallahassee, Kendall Brandt, ABC 27.